Hello everyone, this is Bach Patu, and this is the Colorado State Rams Dynasty here on YouTube. Uh, where today, uh, in this video, we will be playing the Utah State Aggies. As you might recall, may or may not recall, in my last uh, set of videos, we went uh, from number four in the nation uh, to number 21 in the nation after a couple of losses. Excuse me while I had a drink of water there. Uh, and in just a moment we'll bring up that schedule here. It's Kirk, uh, her, uh, there you can see Kirk Curb Street. Not surprisingly, picking us to beat Colorado State. We have every category except the last two. Pass defense and turnover differential. Uh, Utah State is 2-6. That's their bowl record, by the way. Uh, rather putrid, to say the least. Uh, they got six conference championships, the last in 2012. I believe that's when when they were in the old whack, uh, if I'm not mistaken. They have not won a Mountain West championship as of yet. Not even in real life that I can recall. Uh, maybe uh, some college football fans might recall that since the... Uh, merger of the whack in the Mountain West. Uh, the recent one. And uh, there you can see Colorado State's record. That is it is as of 26, 2015, I should say. 7 and 9. Uh, of course, no, I have not been in 16 bowl games. Just the last few. Uh, we have eight conference championships, the last being, of course, in 2015. Uh, we have uh, no national championships yet. Uh, the, though there is an outside emphasis, outside chance. We can probably get in on that, and we'll show you that, go into that when we get in the bowl projections here. There's Utah State's schedule. Yeah, not very impressive, particularly the uh, the non-conference schedule against uh, you know, in-state rival Utah. Again and again against an FCS team, and then against Tulsa, and then the rest of it uh, largely against the uh, Mountain West Conference, save the. Uh, Louisiana Tech game, uh, which they won 38-34. Colorado State schedule. Um, I'm not going to take that UNM game lightly. But I'm not going to take either game lightly. Uh, because both are poised to cause some damage here. Uh... There's our record. We lost against CS against CU, and then for about two months straight, almost, actually, uh, yeah, almost two months straight, we w were winning games. Then, in surprising fashion, we lost to Idaho. Idaho of all teams, Idaho. Really? Idaho. And then we lost to Arizona. I can understand losing to uh, Arizona, but Idaho? Really? Anyway. Of course, in this dynasty, they're 8-2, eight, they're eight and two, but I think that's kind of overstated. I think that's kind of glamorized. They probably, uh, they, their talent probably does not in, 
this is probably not indicative of an 8 and 2 record. Utah State is 5 and 5. UNM is 2 and 8. So overall, we're facing a you know, last two teams a combination record of 7 and 13. So again, we're not going to take that lightly. Just because. Now, poll projections. Um, now, uh, well, let me show you where uh, the uh, poll, uh, the, the polls here real quick. Colorado State, as you can see, went from number ten, uh, number four. If you were calling the uh, last uh, set of videos, went from number four to number ten after losing uh, against Idaho. And drop from there, you know, drop from number 10 to number 21 after losing to Arizona. That's in the coaches poll. In the media poll. Uh, I forget where we were in the media poll, but we, after losing to uh, Idaho, we were at number 13. After losing to Arizona, we dropped to number 23. So, media was even more brutal on us. Thankfully, the media doesn't follow the, their own poll. They follow the, uh, they tend to follow largely the coaches' poll. The BCS has their own poll. Yeah, where we, uh, you know, went from uh, 13, you know, fell from 13 to 23rd after our loss um, to Arizona. Ball projections. Uh, we're not in the hunt for the Heisman, so pretty well forget that. Ball projections. If the bowl season were to start today, this is where we would be heading. Right, you see the uh, yellowish green. We're talking the Armed Forces Bowl we would be facing FAU, which is, I think, overrated, to say the least. But that's just my opinion. Yes, we want to improve on that. And possibly in the look at getting a New Year's Day after or uh, later or at least a New Year's Day bowl. Maybe a New Year's Eve. So there you go with the bowl projections here. Now, let's get on to recruiting. I don't think we have any team needs. Let's double check that. Oh yes we do. We have two team needs. There you can see there's our, our team needs. An overview of those guys. Ready for visits? No. I'm just going to scout these guys because we've already offered them scholarships. And this guy's a bust. And I offered that 
those guy, that guy the, uh, with a 60 overall a scholarship mainly because this team has the flexibility to do it if I guarantee you, if he was on the Air Force team <laughs> he would not make it like most everybody on this recruiting board has already been uh, offered a scholarship so and all the team needs everything the visits have been scheduled team needs those guys have already been scouted so we're just gonna scout the rest of these guys okay there's the fullback with the that's a bust there's the other guy double check our scouting here then anything left over we'll just finish scouting the guys who committed to us kind of give them a little workout 50% scouted I don't understand why I'm not allowed to scout them beyond that 100% scouted that guy's a gem see the green diamond is a gem the red diamond is a bust that's the symbol in the uh, in this game two gems uh, this guy's not quite a gem. This guy's a bust. But again, I have the flexibility to keep this guy. Because he'll make a good... Well, I don't know. Dare I say he can, he'll make a good bench warmer. And I can always redshirt the guy. Yeah, where is it? Air Force. Uh, that's not always a possibility. This guy's a bust. Uh, not only that, but that, that Air Force recruiting board I'm forward. I mean, when they were busts, they were like real busts. These guys, yeah, you can probably work with them, maybe. But even so, I had guys above him that were like, uh, yeah, uh, above these guys, you know, so. And most of these guys are scouted fully. I'm probably going to wind up leaving all 930 points or. on the board up there because I can't do anything all right let's get out of here let's get into the game we'll kind of go into the game time rule quick okay and they always put our game up at the top uh, it's a night game or perhaps you could say an evening game Okay. Now, I I can't really. I can I can only change the uh, uh, the pants. Can't really change anything else. From green to gold. Uniform options, okay. I like the one button much, much better. Okay. Okay. 
team stats. Um, Colorado State on offense scores again. Uh, we'll just again we round it up here. Colorado State. <coughs> We run it to the nearest uh, figure. Uh, Colorado State on offense scores on average of about 34 points. However, their defense only gives up about 28. On offense, uh, Utah State's offense only scores 24 points on offense. However, our defense gives up 28. Uh, oh, about 28, 29 points. Something like that. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. That's probably about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Innovation that excites. Mountain West action just Hence about set to go. Players with the lights up, on. Kickoff coming up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. And they say 6 p.m., usually means about 6 p.m. Eastern time. Not really mountain time, per se. Because at this time of the year, 6 p.m. mountain time, it'd be dark. Stadium in Logan, Utah. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, ah, yes. like to Met- named Here's after Coke. the Mitster. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. Named after Mitt Romney. Kind of surprised that fight with Evan- that <clears throat> fight with Evander Holyfield didn't take place there. Harris has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out Four of those verticals. meetings and, and thinking that I'm going to see if I can't make a big bang there. Confident yeah. in being able to get him the football get in off in a big bang. The this kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. He's going to go for the home run. This one will fall incomplete. Lyle's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but you don't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task. Okay, that was that him. was a That's nice test. That was a nice test going for the home run early. So it's second a and stick. ten. Ball on their own twenty-five. The left one. Nice test of the defense. I wasn't down, too hopeful that I would get that good pitch and catch there feet, on but second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first know, down. If I That's got it, I got it. <laughs> Zone weak. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. That's the play I'm going to, again, I call out the plays uh, narratively. Uh, so you guys know which play I selected. Half back with a carry. Runs it left for a decent game. Thompson gets seven Unless yards on the course, play. It's pretty obvious. Uh, a stick from midfield. Second down. Ooh. Hell, okay. Just had to check my sound. 
I always get the win the line. He's tackled at about the 43 yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. I think I'm going for the mid draw. We've got this a way reason room for a run up the, the gut on either side. Go ground. Runs outside for a nice game. And yeah, see, whereas an H-back draw, you know, you get too far outside, you know, the defense is going to pick up on that. The They're quick about four slant. yards away here on second down. I've thrown the stick a couple times. Let's see if I keep keeping my uh these guys honest. And he is drilled at the 30. That's a game that's made on the play. That makes it first and ten. I'll take a chance with the read option. First and ten. Ball on the 30. I've never really been impressed with that play. Room around the corner. Lyles picks up about seven yards Although there. That was the ball on the, option. <clears throat> the thing with the read option, a little water frog in my throat here, but you know, a little goldfish in my throat here but the thing with the read option is <laughs> you gotta catch the defense napping because if the defense is not napping they're gonna Here's nail the your play ass. Of the series a bubble screen receivers got it on the screen he goes out of bounds at the 20. Why did I flip that? Third and in inches at power O. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. I'm just going to run it. made at the 18 and the short gain is enough for the first and that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker tight end stick 10th play of the drive this is what you call playing ball hogged Fires out to his wideout. Were you hogged the ball right for around the whole four period. So they pick up quite a few yards on that ball. As much oh, that of it as you possibly route, can. A great job of holding on to the football. Each back dive. And I'll take the first, down. first one. They've got the defense on their the heels now. It's first and goal. They come out in a goal line set. Taken down at the three yard line. That brings him second and goal. Slants. This is the 12th play of this drive. The Rams had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Throws incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Yeah, the head, I had the right play. He just threw it in the wrong direction and to the wrong person. 
Play Quick slant. the current drive. Slight adjustment. Touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. Man, no need to get greedy. We'll just go for the PAT. And he adds the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. A real hustle in Tucson. And for Arizona, their winning streak reaches five. The Wildcats grab a double-digit win. Meanwhile, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. And for Oregon State, they get into the end zone first through the air. And for Barrow, he's grabbed a touchdown pass in this one. The Beavers lead 7-0, middle of the first quarter. And we could face Oregon Thanks State in the uh, championship game, game. They've always been in, a thorn in the side of uh, the Rams. The kick. Since and being moved to the Mountain West. This one. Great kick. Actually. And it goes into the end zone, yeah, yeah. down for a touchback. Yeah, since being moved to the Mountain West, they've always been a thorn in their side. Free safety slant three. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Oh, they're going to play no huddle. Okay. Cover two disguise. That's the beauty of that defense. You can... They don't know what's coming. Tackled after decent pickup. I'm not going to call it. The 44. A tackle? You know, if, I, if given the chance, I'll tackle, but I just won't uh, call it and I won't force the execution of it. Now play ball hog. Brought down at the 43 yard line. Double safety. I didn't get it. I didn't get the snap. Though. There he goes. He's at the 30. He goes down at the 18. Double safety blitz. I gotta stop the no huddle somehow. There's a strike complete. The 10, and they make the stop at the 8. Oh, Flag thank on the you, floor. ref. Let's yeah, that'll it stop is. it. Mmm. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Nutty, nutty. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Cover 6. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Let's see them try their no huddle in a cover six. They'll bring him down at about the nine yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. Why and dog in this case two. he did. Nice job. I get an X. Uh. I should have let the game. Well, 
quarterback just showed us he can beat you with Execute. his feet as well as his arm. And what a I just took control of the player who just ran right past the guy. The game had the defender right in the pant Here's the in position to make to the tackle. Thing up. And I just took it away. He puts the uprights with the extra point. A nice that is on me, personally. Yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, yeah, mixing throw. the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Utah State gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. I wonder how those college and students paint themselves this like one. that. Tight end stick. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it second We'll keep him honest with him and throw a weak flood at them. Yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Of course, I should say the floods in Texas are not weak. And our sympathies go out to those of you viewers in that area. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 48 yard line. First down. Zone weak. From their own 48-yard line. First down. They go to the left for a nice game. And that's the end of the first quarter. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Be right back in a sec. Okay, we're back here. Just had to turn off the ceiling fans. And turn on some more light here, because of course it's getting a little dark. Play action flood screen. We're all tied up, and more action coming hopefully here in quarter number two.
Whoa! Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger uh, yo, that a tip and nearly gave the ball away. Dustin, see the guys in blue? In, in purplish blue? Don't throw it to them! Third down now, and they need okay, to get inside in. the 42. You don't throw it to the guys in purplish blue. Take him down immediately. A pickup of four on the play. The slant is so hard to defend when the pass is right on the money. But at least the defense was there to keep it from Read turning option. into a bigger play. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Tight end stick. That's a no-brainer. I probably could have gone for a field goal. Good tackle there in space. Trade for that play? Uh, no, I'll, I'll take that. I could have played it safe and just gone for a field goal. But I'll gladly take that. Mountain lead dive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Generally, I get such... Those of you may be wondering, well, why don't I scroll down a little bit? But generally, I get... You know, good play nice selections that down. really... Scrolling... Uh, that I really don't have to scroll down unless I really want to get a little creative. You know, it's, it, it's fourth down. Yeah... I'm trailing. Down, five to go. Ball on the 15. Or whatever. You play action power O. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Anderson makes the set up with the 14 yard line. Uh, H-back slip screen. I kind of like that formation. So the Aggies defensive back left the game with that injury earlier, and the sooner he gets back, the better, because they've been really working over his backup. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Uh, Lost of two. Pretty good stand like the there. Result, they weren't though. fooled at all by the offensive play call. I don't like the end result, though. Hmm. Any fancy options I can I have? Play action counter like wag. Go for it again. Work for him last time. There's a play fake. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Yes! All right. That's close, close. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if Touchdown. he was able to get a foot down. Touchdown. Touchdown. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Well, it was a booth review. Colorado State. Up six. If it weren't for that play, I think I probably would have taken the field goal. play, 74-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that team. Black has his kick team lined up and kick he is middle. set to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. 
He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. I'm not going to call it. Because Utah State's running no huddle. And I'm just with one gonna... quarter down. I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Let the game kind of execute. I'll just play ball hog and tackle. He's tackled around the 20. Let the game tackle. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. I will, however, try cover two man. Quick out to his receivers. Tackle made at about the 29 yard line. Mainly because that defense allows you to have a man on. Uh, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. The. Uh, and the player, the moment he catches the ball. Thunder or cop. I'm gonna try that. Here's an opening. Makes it to the 44. That makes it second and two. I'm gonna try. Zone blitz. And he's tackled right around the 44 yard line. Man, nothing I'm doing, nothing I'm calling this is working. And I don't think even if I change formations, it won't work. Gives it up the gut. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. So I think it's something. I think. That'll make it second and seven. The best defense is to wait for them to make a mistake. Free safety. Second blitz. down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41 yard line. Because they're just in shotgun formation. And he's going to be sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches. See, like that. Yesterday. Wait for them to make they a mistake. There were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to call this. I don't like any any, any one. Of them. Now they need to get it down to the 34. And I don't want to make the wrong one. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back, and he's taken down. I'd rather the do that. Ball. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And that's pretty. <laughs> it's like almost next to. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Uh, next to uh, never. That the. Uh, uh, that you actually get a block punt. Four verticals left. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado State is up seven. Quickly to the top right. and incomplete. Figure as long as he had the you know, protection. Four verticals. They'll line up at the 11. With a different Second formation. Down. 
figured as long as he has protection, he ought to be able to do something. You know, just get the first down. Oh, yeah. Nice play. Oh. If he didn't have to jump. Confusion. Let's see if they can if pull themselves he did, together. Oh, dude, what did you, what did you feel like he had to jump? Why did he just turn on the freaking afterburners? I'm just saying, you know, if he did not jump, he was gone. And I'll avoid calling the same play three times in a row. Just do a it's first down strike. and ten now after picking up some great yardage through the air. If he didn't jump, he was gone. No question. Pass complete and taken down immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Verticals. To that quickly, and down he goes at the 27. The Rams so I'll take it. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Four verticals, middle from the 27 yard line. First down, Colorado staying State shotgun. That's points. right, that's right, Dustin. He's looking for six. Tipped away. Dropped. I think he's being reached out a second later. The receiver would have caught the ball. That's perfect timing by the safety. Verticals. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. I think it, you know, what he should have done was throwing it to a white, uh, another receiver. Because that guy was pretty well covered. Ooh. That's okay. That's okay. This just takes a few seconds, a few more seconds off the clock. Four verticals. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. That gives me one timeout to use for a field goal. I really don't want this. Play action boot over. That takes the field on fourth down. I'm taking a real gamble here. But again, it's play action. If I can do this. Strike to his receiver. No. <clears throat> so they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Went to the well once too often. Momentum swings have been fairly even. There was so little separation. Then too, he should have thrown it toward the sideline, not toward the middle. Whiteout makes the first down catch. I'm not so sure he caught that inbounds. He might have.
Yeah, yeah, he caught it. He caught it. It was a gamble that I that I took on that fourth down play. But... They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Utah State's going to take their first time out of the half. They got to go 56 yards in 24 seconds. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Check, check, check. Fight, like Big question, can they do it? <laughs> Not like that. Intercepted. Ben almost gave us a chance to uh, <laughs> make up for the field goal, which we should have got. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Fires quick. He catches another. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Uh, I'm tempted to go cover two, but I don't want to get burned. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. That's why. I want the clock to run out. They pick up some positive yards that time. Well, here you get a chance to see the ability of this quarterback, his arm strength, the middle toughness to be able to deliver the ball see? on time. And remember, this play was well covered by that defense. So with the That's what I wanted. They're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and he didn't get all of it. It falls short. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the I don't know why it goes with a game ball. update Pittsburgh with only one second left. Flat out You're going to wind them going to him for the halftime show anyway. The Panthers are on top, 21-17. Touchdown difference this one, Reese, 14-7. I'm just going to have my quarterback sit on it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Colorado State is up by a touchdown. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. We played a half of football. Colorado State leads 14-7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show. Wasn't much of anything I could have done anyway. That excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And 
you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Kickoff left. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill. I'm tempting to go with that offense. zone blitz, but with them, with their quarterback and shotgun formation. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. I'm not under center. I'm not. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Here, have some turf. Strike to the receiver. Brought down the 39 yard line. Okay. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 46. Oh, did it look like he punched that guy in the gut? Look like he got punched in the gut. That was a triple option. It must have been a pass. He makes his way to about the 42. Bring it back. Not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Offense. Tisk tisk. Nutty nutty. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. I'm just going to let the game call the defense. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Quickly. Oh, shit. He makes his way to about the 32. They keep making mistakes like that. He's going to break one. I'm going to call Thunder a cop. But I'm not going to force it. And he's tackled right away. For that Fires very reason. That brings up second and nine. And a quick throw. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Aggies. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Mm -mm. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Try again. Try again with that touchdown. Seven and five now after the penalty. Tackle 
tackle made at the 28-yard line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up third and six. They should have gotten a bigger loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they get the sack. Ball! Paul's every bit as good as his clipping suggests. <laughs> the coaches say yeah, he was not fooled. Bull rush, whatever it takes to get to the quarterback. Yeah, we were not fooled. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh. <laughs> they call it an H-back slip screen. Yeah, we were not fooled. This can make a difference as whether or not they get this. It's up. Oh my God! And he just didn't have the leg for this one. Is it me or did he try to kick that thing down down the Provo? Or Salt Lake? I think he tried to kick that thing there to Rice Eccles Stadium. Both sides have made their way back four V here. here. And we're just about set to get going again. Colorado State is up a score. I'll double check the field goal on there. Tosses across the middle. Nice, nice, He's nice. At the 36 yard line. I'll double check the field goal setting here. Make sure that that is the way it should be for all my, as it is on all my dynasties. Okay, settings. House rules. Custom AI. CPU. Yeah, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Utah State's has got a terrible kicker. Maybe they just got a terrible kicker or something. I mean, I don't know what to think. H back draw. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-six yard line. Uh, and enough with the uh, the playing cutesy here. Time we start playing in the safe. The 33 yard line. Thompson gains around three yards on the run. This we we get to playing too cute. We could lose this game. Colorado State is up seven. Stick. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Harris brings him down at the 29 yard line. That makes it third and three. Play action power O. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. I'm looking at getting a lot more than that. And three and three yards. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. 
fourth down. Dustin. All right. It's it looks like they're going to try to back field it up. Colorado State Not enough can playing make this QT a two possession game with this field goal. Kicks up and it's good. That's when I, I should have done last time. But I didn't. Kick off right. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21. Oh, big hit. That's what I like about my uh, CU, CSU and uh, Virginia Tech teams. You know, they get guys who can hit. Air Force doesn't seem to have that anymore uh, this year. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't if, have a luxury. If you saw the Air Force videos, get back in the game. Four, three, nine, nine. you know, uh, the season ended. He's got it out to his tight end. There he goes. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. More. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49 yard line. About a seven yard pickup that time on the pass. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Somebody got to off to an early offense. start. Sometimes what happens on a false start. As a lineman will see movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. <laughs> now we wouldn't do that, would we? <laughs> Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 44. He's taking that ball just hitting the hell and hitting the quarterback hard like that. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down around the 42 yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Again, guys who are not afraid to, to level the big hit. They put the big hit on him. On the throw, incomplete pass. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver. They to call a read option, the and they... And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's a pass? Every time I've encountered the read option, it's a run. Somehow, I don't think that previous play option is... You know, uh, Looks middle, the call is back. right. Come on, come on, Inside come on, come on. What a play, brought down inside the five. Cover six, this is a, that's a no-brainer. I said it was a no-brainer because 
way you give up, the way you expose yourself to, uh, to the run. You don't, uh, you don't expose yourself to, a pa uh, to the pass. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. Better to safeguard the pass than the, extra point. than the safeguard against the run. Because the run, you got the, the down lineman. Kick return. Utah State is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. I don't know why they have two kick return options in this game. And it goes into the that end makes zone. Makes no sense. I mean, if they're going to have kick, two, not gonna back two down kick return really options really, in this game, not today. they should no, have today. They played with a chip on their three. shoulder. They've stood toe to toe with the big boys. And Four, actually. You need to do onside kick. Onside kick return. Mountain Lee died in a dive. So I think what I'll do is I'll flip it. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Colorado State holds a field goal lead. To kind of add a little bit of twist to it. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. At about the 43 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Nice run. Power O. From their own 43 yard line. First down. And they make the stop around the 43 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it six and ten. I should flip that. Uh, I don't want to take the up the chance of that zone week. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own forty-three. Seven yard ooh, 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 ooh. He managed to stay on somebody's back. Nice play. Empty stick. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Colorado State is up a field goal. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 36 yard line. And Kyle Ware. I think the other tight end. That's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Rams with a three point lead. Sure, I'll go with Back a 4 here. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. It's first and 10. 4 V. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Didn't have to go for the end zone. That makes it first and 10. Empty stick. From the 23-yard line. I could have First taken down. that lead option. Five maybe. guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. But I wanted the empty stick more. 
Slings it for that. Tackle made right around the 14-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. This it's own week. Down now, they're just a few feet away from that first I'll run it like, I, uh, like I've always done before because I don't think I'm going to get that 18 yarder like I did last time. He makes his way out to about the six. That makes it first and goal. I'll keep that stick in mind. Flip zone week. And this play is number eight on the drive. Colorado State is up by three. Okay, H back slam. This is the ninth play of this drive. Because this is four down territory. That's another reason why I'm gonna get why I'm doing this. Touchdown, Rams. And it turns out I won't need fourth down. And I'm just going to go for the PAT. No sense in getting cute. And he converts the extra point. Kick off middle. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28. This should pretty much knock Utah State out of their out of their game plan. Free safety slam. They got into three. the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Buck slant three. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled at the 47. Pick that off. I wish I did. I wish I did, because that this way I could have added insurance. From the 47 yard line. Second down. Ran four minute offense. Got insurance. his way out to about the 35. Cover one press. So I'm calling a couple more plays now because... That's a great tackle at the 33. Gaining two yards. That'll, That'll make it, it second and seven. 
I'm I'm calling more plays now because you know even if they score, it's not like I, I will still be a, still be ahead. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 26 yard line. And I can just play four-minute offense, keep the ball away from them. I'm gonna play four-minute, three-minute, two-minute offense. Let's it fly. They can't connect. Incomplete. Out of bounds. And they're gonna go for it. They got to. I am so gonna not going to call it. I will tackle if I will within. Tackle after decent pickup. Some time and they get the sack. Six cents. No when to get rid of the ball. Hmm. I'm tempted that you go, go that two men under, but. Defense <laughs> looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Less than Sometimes it's best just to let the game call it. Catches it, and that's all. That makes it serious. Because it's still third and long. Got his man. I get the ball. The They're not bound to go on fourth and seven. Not down ten. You gotta be joking. You're down ten. You Logic dictates when you're down ten, you go for a field goal, you get an onside kick, and then you go for it. Then you go get the touchdown. Logic dictates that. Quick strike to the receiver. What a play, and that is first and goal. Not sure. But there's a the flag. Here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Ball. Ball. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Well, at least they force him to go, to for, go for a field goal. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up. And they won't and even do that. Have the distance. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Mountaineers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Colts move them down? A complete I think I think Utah State's is going to bad run. kicker. The Panthers get the victory. 34-27. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Okay, H-back dive. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under two to go in the game. Nice run there. Thompson picks up about four yards on the play. So the Aggies taking their first time out of the half.
H-back dive again. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He makes it to the 32-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Play action bubble. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. I'm doing this to keep possession of the ball. with room to work and he's taken down right around the 42 yard line this guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really See, now i can just no wonder he's literally just take it down the last second first and ten ball on the 42 yard line it's back dive Run and he's brought down. With them having no timeouts. I'm up 10, so even if they turn the ball over. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Under I'm risking left. delay of game here. There's a play fake. He's under pressure, and he hits him hard. But the That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. The main thing is you eight clock. I just, I'm just going to sit on it. He takes a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-14, Colorado State. I want to make one and got one last beating. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Oh, well. He got one last beating, but. Hey. The main thing wasn't. The most important thing in that last drive was not yardage. It was clock. What are you showing the photographer for? Highlights. Reverse end zone.
Oh, that could not be any more straightforward. Okay, second quarter. Check the press box. Uh, did he just go through a wall? I gotta save it just for that. I gotta save it just for that. You guys on YouTube are gonna see that. But I, I'm not kidding. He just went through. Look at that. He just went through solid. He just went through solid concrete. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? That's the most direct. <laughs> now for the actual highlight. And for an encore. That's about the best you we're going to get. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Just went through solid concrete. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I can't. I can't stop laughing at that. I, I mean, I, huh, at that. That's that. That's the most. Amazing th thing I've ever seen. Oof. Other sideline. Uh, that's about as good as I'm going to get on that. Okay, let's see what other interesting <laughs> scores, uh, what other interesting scores there are out there.
Oh. Nothing, really. A much needed win. Not just a big win, a much needed win. This should get us back up in the polls. So at least, mm, I don't know, number 17? CSU. CSU. Okay, and recruiting is all done. I've accomplished as much as I'm gonna get do there for the week. Now let's see what where I uh, let's see how far we rise back up in the polls. Again, like I said, I'm not taking them lightly. They may be two and eight, maybe two and nine. But I'm gonna play them like they're a nine and two team. Eight and two, nine and two team. Tim Harper committed to our team. Okay, big deal. Damian Diggs is ready to visit. We're in a battle for everybody else. Uh, Travis Williams and Jeremy Green are scheduled to visit this week. Mike Graham, Eric Gordon, Darren Johnson, we're in a battle with. Finalists for the for the Heisman! Maybe I ought to get back in the Heisman to watch. Finalists for the Heisman, the Bolitnikov, the Thorpe, uh, th uh, best linebacker, the Ben Narek, the Walker, the Groza, the Maxwell, the O'Brien, the Walter Cup, school record for 10s. TDs, 11, 50 touchdowns in a season, and after that is everything. I gotta figure, I think I have a good idea who that person might be. They've been talking about them all season long. Okay, well they're three and eight. Okay, and we get the, we get the number 15. I'd like to get back to at least number 10 by the time the season is done. CSU. CSU. And we'll check the AD. See what the AD said.
and we'll check Heisman here. Colorado State fans love a win. Good job against Utah State last week. Okay, and also poll projections too. We'll do that. Ah, figured. He's third, but look at his competition. Anthony Curry and Aaron Lynch. So, uh, but to think that I have a, uh, but to think I have a guy who is a in the hunt for the Heisman. And oh yeah, there's my guy from my other dynasty, Barry Miller. Sorry, about, uh, Barry, but in this dynasty, you get competition, my my friend. And in-state competition at that. Bowl projections. Now let's see if we've improved on that. BCS rankings will hold off. No, we're still in line to play Florida Atlantic in the uh, Armed Forces Bowl. Suffice to say. And again, Florida Atlantic perhaps an overrated eight and three team because well number one they're not ranked number two <laughs> anyway that's gonna be it for this dynasty and uh, for this game again our next game is against UNM Oop preview. Yeah, that's one reason to not take them lightly. Uh, our next game and the final game of the 2017 season is against UNM. Till then, we'll catch